Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to include CSS and JS in the head section of the page. So let's get started. We will, so we have already done the module, so we have the module XML and registration file as a tab, so the module is up and running. So we will just add the uh, required file to that. So first of all, we will create a CSS file or a directory. The directory will be a view content web CSS. And then also we need a JS file because we're going to add a JS as well. So JS, so those are the folders. Now we will need to include the our CSS. So let's say default, you can name it any name. But I'm naming it default because I want to include it in the default page and the default layout which included in every page. So default say CSS. We are going to change the page titles into a red color. So page title wrapper wrapper page title color red. So this will be red. Now in the JS I will include default as well. You can name it anything. I'm just naming it as a default to include it in every page for JS. What I need to do here is just console log training head CSS JS JS default JS just the path to the file itself. So these are the files I want to include in every page. So what we need to do is a layout file. We'll call it layout and then default.xml. Now what default XML is included in every page. So it doesn't matter where you go in the application, the default will be loaded. And so in every page you will change the color of the titles and also you will console log whatever comes from the JavaScript file. So let's start it with here. Head. Now to include CSS, we simply just say CSS and then SRC will be training CSS JS JS and then inside web inside sorry CSS default dot CSS. So that's the CSS. If we include the JS file, we will say script and then it will be in fact let's just copy this, paste it here and change CSS to JS. Now we're done, we just need to clear cache and reload the pages. So let's say PHP pin magento cache flush layout block HTML. Now if we refresh, nothing will happen because we are in the home page. But if we go to any category, say tops, this is changed to red. Now if we go to the product pages, it will be red. A similar way, if we go to About Us, we'll change to red. So anything with title, any page with title, it will change the contact us to red. Now, if I go back here and then inspect element in the console, so if I refresh, you'll get this logged in, logged in the console log. So this is the default. This is what comes from the JavaScript. Wherever you go in the application, you will get this log because it's included in every page just to take into account when you add anything in the layout default xml layout it will include it in every page it doesn't matter where you go in the web page and the sorry in the application you will include these in every page how about including some scripts specifically in one page let's take example of having the contact us the contact us we want to include scripts css and javascript specifically for this page and not in any other page so to do that first let's have copy this and then say contact the contact i want it to be green the color will be green not red and then here i'll copy it and say contact and then instead of default we'll say contact dot js now we have done those we need also to do the contact so it's contact index index this layout is specific for the contact index index how do i know because it says contact but it also index index is the explicit name of the action but because index index comes one after another anything comes with index you can omit so you can do this and also you can do this this is why we can say 
the contact index underscore index dot xml is specifically for this page now what we need to include is we need to say contact and in the javascript also we need to say contact now let's clear cache and see what happens we clear cache we can go back to category page just to see this is different you can see these are green in the default but will be red if i go to contact contact this is about us sorry contact is green why it happens here to be red and then every page where it should be included as green this is because when the page loaded the first thing it added is add this file this this de layout the default the default layout includes the css this css change the title to green and then after adding the default layout we will add the action layout which is contact index 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 contact index index includes the contact css which change the title to red so this file or this css rule will override this css rules because the contact the default css will be included first in the page and then the contact css will include the last and whatever comes last in the css will override whatever comes first so to prove this we inspect element and then we will see there is default and there is a contact css in a similar way you will have a default js and contact js but if you go to luma for example or let's go to a category page you will see there will be no contact included there is a default css and there is a default js there is no contact because contact is only included in the contact and if i just inspect element here and then refresh you will see the javascript is triggered by logging the default js but if i go to the contact us it will be two javascript will be triggered the default first because the default is included first and then the contact is included the second so this file is a process first so these the css and js included first and then this layout file is processed next and these will comes after the default css and default js and this is why the color is changed to red on contact page and only this is console triggered on the contact page i hope this is helpful and i see you in next video